Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holder. Thanks for joining me. You know, I get asked all the time, Richard, when should I upgrade the cylinder heads on my LS? Well, let's take a look and find out. I've got two combinations. One is a six liter LS. The other is a stroker six liter LS displacing 408 cubic inches. The question is, what cylinder head should I use on each one? Well, lucky for you guys, I ran different cylinder heads on each combination. We're going to take a look at the kind of power that each cylinder head makes. Now, we did run aftermarket heads, and they did add quite a bit of power, but the question still remains, are those gains worth the cost of the aftermarket heads? And honestly, that's a question only you guys can answer. But along the way, I also tested a factory cylinder head upgrade that would cost a lot less. It made less power, but it also costs a lot less, but it gives you options. What do you say? Let's take a look. Hey guys, if you're new, welcome to the channel. But what happens if you have a question? Hey, I saw this video, but I wanted to ask Richard a question. Well, you're in luck. You get to do that. Join us nightly, seven o'clock Pacific Standard Time on the live feed. You can come on, join the group. If I don't have an answer to your question, chances are there are lots of bright guys. They might have an answer. So if you've got a question about any of the video that you just saw, or maybe you're working on a project, join us live, seven o'clock Pacific Standard Time on this channel. To get things started, we're going to take a look at a three-cylinder head comparison that I did on a six-liter LY6, originally a VVT motor, but we replaced that with a different camshaft, got rid of the VVT, and we ran three different cylinder heads. We ran a set of 799 cathedral port heads, we ran a set of TrickFlow 225 CNC ported cathedral port heads, and then also a set of factory LY6 rec port heads and a matching, obviously, LS3 intake manifold. So this was our combination. It was a six-liter and we ran it with the Comp 459 camshaft, which is a 617, 624 lift, a 231, 239 degree duration split, and 114 degree lobe separation angle. We equipped it first with a set of just add factory 799 heads, factory valves, all that. All of the heads had spring upgrades to work with the camshaft. This was also equipped with a Dorman LS2 intake manifold, which is basically, in terms of power, the equivalent of a Trailblazer SS. It had a 92 millimeter throttle body, inch and seven eighths headers, all tuned with a Holly HP management system. So run first with our 799 heads and Dorman LS2 intake manifold. This combination produced 522 horsepower and 481 foot pounds of torque. So pretty good for a set of just bone stock gas cast 799 hits. But here's what happened when we installed a set of LS3 well, basically the LY6 heads, they didn't have the lighter valves in them. So an LY6 factory rec port head and a matching LS3 intake manifold. We could have also run the LY6 truck manifold in the testing that I did on this motor. Those two made exactly the same power. But as you can see, the factory rec port heads did pick up a pretty good bit of power over the 799 heads. Peak power was up to 541 horsepower. Peak torque was up to 492. So the rec port heads made more peak horsepower and more peak torque. Although if you look below 4,200 RPM, the rec port heads were down in power compared to the cathedral port heads. And it also must be noted that the, the 799s heads do have a smaller chamber than the rec port heads. So there is also a change in compression going on between the cylinder head comparison. So the final head that we tested was a set of TrickFlow 225 cathedral port heads. This combination was also graced with a fast intake manifold, so I know we'll get some comments on that, so please make sure to make the comments on it and ask us why we didn't run a fast on the LS3 uh, factory heads. And the reason that we did, or the LY6 factory heads, the reason we didn't do that is because an, uh, an LS3 rec port intake manifold is not worth any more power over a factory LS3, and not that it's not a good intake manifold, it is but the factory LS3 intake manifold is so good. Whereas on the cathedral port stuff, the fast manifold does add power compared to the other Trailblazer SS and stuff. So run with the trick flow heads and the fast intake manifold. The power was up to 576 horsepower. Peak torque was up to 507. 507, 508 foot-pounds of torque. As you can see, the trick flow heads kind of gain power everywhere, although they were down just a little bit down low, down below 3,500 
that and the fast intake manifold compared to the 799 heads and the Dorman LS2. So now that we've taken a look at what happens when we run different cylinder heads on the 6 liter, let's find out what happens when we did a similar test on a larger 408. Now that we've taken a look at what happened on our cylinder hut upgrade going from the 799 to the LY6 and then to the TrickFlow 225 heads on our 6 liter, let's see what happened when we did a similar test on a larger 408 stroker. So this combination, as I said, 408 stroker, what that means is that we had a six liter block. Go ahead and take a look at our test description here. We had a six liter block, it was bored 30 over, and we combined that with a four inch stroker crank. We had forged internals, forged rods, and forged pistons. These were flat top pistons. We installed a good size comp cam in this thing. It was a 624 lift a 239, 255 degree duration, and we could run that kind of camshaft because we had valve reliefs in the pistons and 114 degree lobe separation angle. We topped off the cathedral port heads with a fast LSXR 102 millimeter intake manifold or 102 millimeter intake manifold and throttle body. We had 75 pound injectors, inch and seven eighths long two headers, ran it with a Holly HP management system, and obviously we optimized air fuel and, and timing. We started off with a set of 317 heads, the heads were bone stock. They did have a valve up or a valve spring upgrade to allow use of the camshaft that we were running. So we ran our 408 first with the LS3 heads and the fast intake manifold and the combination produced 543 horsepower and 526 foot pounds of torque. It's interesting to note that a set of 790 or a set of 317 heads flow about 245 or 250 and yet we're making nearly 550 horsepower. So if you do the math on that, that's a really, really high specific output relative to the airflow. And we'll see that these are fairly efficient, <laughs> even though it didn't make quite as much power, because here's what happened when we installed a set of factory LS3 heads on this 408 combination. So we ran the LS3 heads with a factory, I think it was a factory LS3 intake manifold. Yes, factory LS3 intake manifold and equipped with the LS3 heads and LS3 intake manifold, the power output jumped up to 581 horsepower. Peak torque jumped up to 543 foot pounds. And as you can see, like we saw with the six liter, the rec port heads make less power down low, like below 4,000 RPM and more power at the top. And they did that on our six liter and also on this 408, as you can see here. The cathedral port head just made more power down low, but did make quite a bit less up top. That's not really that surprising given the fact that an LS3 head flows 315 CFM and a, the cathedral port head flows like 250. So it's a big change in airflow. But here's an interesting thing. We, like we did with the six liter, we installed a set of aftermarket heads on our 408. In this case, we said we ran a set of Airflow Research 245 heads, which in my opinion for this combination, they were the wrong head choice. I mean, it's got a really big valve setup. It's got a, a lot of port volume. It wasn't really necessary. We couldn't take advantage. I mean, this thing had peak flow at like seven or 800 lift. And our camshaft obviously was <laughs> closer to getting closer to 600, between 600 and 650, where this thing only flowed uh, 330, I think, at 650. But so we weren't utilizing a lot of what the extra airflow that the airflow research had had to offer, although it did have really good uh, low and mid lift numbers, much more than the LS3. And we see that that directly translated into power. So it had good 300 plus airflow, even at the lower lifts below 600. But equipped with the airflow research 245 heads, this thing produced 604 horsepower and peak torque was up to 555 foot-pounds. The airflow research heads made more power than the cathedral port heads down low, or as much or more than the cathedral ports down low, made more than the rec port heads. So again, we see that when we choose a set of aftermarket heads, they're going to do very well, especially a set of aftermarket cathedral port heads. But once again, I have not tried a set of aftermarket rec port heads I would assume that they still would lose power down low, but gain power at the top, but it would be an interesting test, but that's another test for another day. Let's get to our conclusion. 
Okay guys, what's the takeaway in this comparison between the three different heads on our six liter and then the three different heads on our larger 408 stroker? The first thing is we need to look at is more flow does indeed equal more power. So we had better head flow. We went from a 799 to a rec port head, a factory rec port head, then to an aftermarket head. We obviously picked up power. Same thing on the 408. We went from a 317 to a rec port head to an aftermarket head. And each time we stepped up an airflow, we obviously got more power. It also shows that on the factory side, the cathedral port heads work fairly well, but a rec port head is definitely going to make more power, especially with the combine them on the right combination. And that's the next thing. The next thing to consider is to utilize that flow we need enough motor basically. So that's why I work on a you know fairly healthy cam six liter and also why I work probably even better on the 408. We wouldn't get these kinds of gains offered by this change in head flow going from a cathedral port to a rec port and then to an aftermarket head. We wouldn't get those gains on a smaller stock or cam 4.8 liter or even a 5.3. You really need enough motor to take advantage of what head flow that there is before you can make big power gains. The next thing is that aftermarket heads obviously flow better than the stock heads. Now you do step up going from a factory cathedral port to a factory rec port. Definitely power to be had there and those factory rec port heads will support a lot of power on the right combination. But if you put an aftermarket head in the mix, it's definitely going to do better. But the alternate to that is you could obviously port the factory heads. We know that you can get a lot of head flow from ported any really any sort of factory head, whether you port a 799 or 317 or even the smaller 706 or 862 heads. You can get a lot of flow from those. Lots of guys had good pro good uh, programs for those and they flow very well. Or you can get an aftermarket rec port or cathedral port head and make lots of power. But remember. You'll need even more motor to do that. The final thing, and this is very important, we didn't really cover this in this video, but if you're going to put a turbo on your LS, you really don't need to bother with upgrading the heads. Armature holder, make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. I'll keep testing.